Welcome to this clear fact. Today we talk about what am I going to do when a patient calls me and lost an attachment or when an attachment is missing during the Invisalign treatment and let's say we are at a line of 20. Oh yes, not 19, not 21, but 20. My name is Stefan Reinhardt. I'm the director of the education program for the Clear Institute. And my name is Michaela Senat. I'm a general dentist in Germany. Welcome to this Clear Fact. If you want to know more about attachments, we have a complete course on attachments all online on our education platform all the information are in the description below and if you like these videos subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet what are you waiting for and give us the thumbs up and you know what don't forget to click on the little bell ding, ding. that you're gonna be notified every time we upload a new video Michela Stefan. It's different when we're next to each other, it's right? It's different. It's yeah. louder. Yeah, when you're in Germany, it's yeah. not that loud, yeah? <laughs> what are you doing if a patient calls you and let's say I'm a patient, I call you. In my clinic. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I don't answer the phone. In oh, the you clinic. answer for me. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello. Emergency. I just lost an attachment. What, how would you say that in German? <laughs> notfall, notfall. Notfall, notfall. <laughs> well, first of all, it's not an emergency, so everybody calms down. Tell me what aligner are you wearing right now? I'm looking on my bag and it says 20, not 19, not 21, 20. <laughs> Thank you for that information. That is absolutely the best case if an attachment gets lost that your patient noticed at home, he or she's gonna call you and they tell you what aligner number they're wearing because then you just go on your doctor site, you click on new attachment template, you give in the aligner number and you receive a perfect fitting attachment template. How long does it take to receive the template? A week. That's good. So if the patient comes the day after, you will not receive the template. So it takes at least a week to receive the template. It doesn't cost you anything. That's one way to do it. But in real life, when we're not in Michaela's clinic, <laughs> usually patients don't call to tell us that they have an attachment that you know they, they just lost or they, they broke. We see it when we do the follow-up appointment. This is one of the things we have to look for. This is one of the things that your, your team has to look for when the patient comes to the appointment. Are all the attachments there? Are they, I mean, some of the attachments broken, some of the attachments gone completely, then we have to redo them. First scenario, you kept the template from the start. Yeah, good, but it doesn't fit anymore. Well, there's a good way how you can manage to make it fit. How? Well, you can cut it. Just, you know, maybe the, the tooth. tooth. You cut the tooth? You cut the template in okay. that region where, you know, you need uh, the template on that tooth to glue the attachment. So that is not a problem because it's really flexible, even thinner than an aligner. Mm. You're going to have no problem at all. And it's going to fit if the tooth didn't change shape, where it shouldn't. It's going to fit perfectly. Now, the other scenario, of course, I mean, we... we the good protocol would be to always keep your template. But let's say the template you just did your attachments and it was all at the end. You could not keep it. It's when you do it like that? That's it. Okay. Not in Germany. That never happens in Michelle's clinic. <laughs> but uh, yes, it happens sometimes. So we cannot keep the template. What can we do then? Oh, I know you don't know. It never happens to you. We would order a new template <laughs> from the very yeah, first and you beginning. Make your, and the patient to has to come back. There. Not a good thing. The patient is on no, the no. chair. When you have to treat the patient now. I know. So what can you do? I mean, first of all, we have two different kinds of attachment. Yeah. That is the first thing you should look. I mean, what attachment... You mean horizontal is, and vertical? No. Okay. What attachment is missing? Is it a conventional attachment? 
that is missing or is it an optimized attachment what is missing it's pretty easy when it is a conventional you just take the aligner it's Why? the same it's the sh same shape right in the template and in the aligner yes and on the conventional tools. attachment the rectangles one and the vertical are exactly ones, the yes. same shape so you can glue that conventional attachment mm. with the aligner the patient is wearing right mm -hmm. now but oh. it's going to be a little bit more <laughs> if it's an optimized it's more um how we say uh it's more um interesting yeah interesting challenging Ch challenging it's more challenging yeah so what do you do when you have optimized attachment dr Reinhard, what are you doing if optimized attachment well, are missing and you throw it away your template thing is that the shape is different in the template and in the aligner when it comes to optimized attachments what i mean is that the reservoir of the attachment is smaller in the template than it is in the uh, the aligner itself why because the idea of optimized attachment is to have a space in the reservoir <laughs> where the attachment can move into, where the, the tooth will move and the attachment will slide inside that space in the aligner, inside that space uh -huh. like this. I'm like a tooth, I have my attachment and I'm moving like inside the space. So if you take your aligner to uh, redo the, the, the optimized attachment, it's gonna be bigger than it should be. Is that a problem? It depends on your philosophy. <laughs> in some clinic in Germany it's a problem <laughs> in some clinic in Montreal it's not a problem what you can do is just remove a little bit of the attachment to change the shape to make it a little bit smaller and it's gonna still work the part that you cannot remove is the surface where you apply the force that's it that's the important part this is the where the active. force is applied so the active nice. surface where you apply the force <laughs> Maybe people want to know more about that. Conventional and optimized attachments. Everything you want to know about attachments, you will have in the Attachments 101 course in the learning platform. Two hours and a half only on attachments. All the information are in the description below. If you have any comments or ways that you do it, other tricks that you have, please share them with us in the comments below. There's a lot of space. Michela! Stefan! Anything else to say about attachments, loose attachments, broken attachments, whatever attachments? No. no. I like the German and the Canadian way. <laughs> yes, both ways are good. Every, there's not only one good way to do things, otherwise we would all do the same thing. Oh, that was really nice, right? Very nice. Mm -hmm. A little bit of philosophy. My name is Stefan Reinhardt. I'm the director of education program for the Clear Institute. And my name is Michaela Sinat. I'm a general dentist in Germany. And we'll see you next time for another Clear Fact. If you have any questions about Clear Aligners and you would like us to answer, just write it in the description below. And it will be maybe the subject of a next video. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up and you know what click on the little bell then you're going to be notified every time we upload a new video okay back to germany for you <laughs> <laughs>